Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my November update to the Roulette Pan Collab that was started by Rebecca Morgan and Alexi, and I do have them linked down below. There is a playlist of everybody who's doing this, and again, that is linked down below, as well as my playlist. This is, I believe, round nine, and I think this is my third round doing this project. I really enjoy it. It did start on September 23rd. The finale is going to be on January 23rd, so four months long. We are halfway through this project. Uh, they have two lists of prompts. I provided both of them down below. I'm working on the list of 50 prompts, the first list they came out with, and then there is a list of 100 prompts. Once I finish the 50, then I'll move over to the list of 100 prompts. Uh, we've been rolling six prompts in at a time, and then uh, it is a rolling style project pan. So every time you finish a goal, hit a goal, finish an item, then you roll in the next one. So. Before I get into that, in case you guys are wondering what I'm wearing on my eyes, these are just eyeshadows from my Pan and Everything Project Pan. I am trying to uh, get a few more uses in that before I film that update here in a couple days. I am almost caught up with all the filming that I need to do, so hopefully you guys haven't minded how many videos I have been posting lately as I'm trying to get caught up on everything that I missed. So let's go ahead and get started. I will tell you what the prompt is and what item I chose, and then we will look at the, the uh, progress that I've made. So the first one that I rolled is a product with cute packaging, and for that I rolled in my Hemp's Goji Orange Lemonade Herbal Body Moisturizer. As of the last update, I had used it 12 times to get down to here. I have used it an additional 20 and I am down to here. So I have 32 uses on this one and it is still going. Um, I do really enjoy this. The scent is fantastic. Um, I haven't taken this one with me when I've got out of town the couple times that I've gone out of town. So this is just what I've been using at home. This one's a little bit too bulky of a packaging to try to put in a suitcase. So um, I've got 32 uses on this one um, and hopefully this one will be done by next update. Next was a product of your choice, and I decided to roll in a lip liner from the brand Real Her. This is in the shade Deep Nude. Um, I am actually wearing this on my lips today with a lip gloss over it. So let me give you a swatch of this one. Just a really pretty uh, nude color. I really enjoy this one. So uh, when I first put it in the project, it was brand new. It was to here. I used it nine times for the first update, and I've used it six more, and I am down to here. Hopefully you guys can see those little lines, but um, I've used this one 15 times in this project, and it's still going, so I have this much still left. I don't want to roll it up. I'm so afraid it's going to break. But like I said, I do have this all over my lips today. It is a really pretty color, um, so 15 uses and still going on this one. Next is a product you would recommend to anyone, and I chose one of my Zoya nail polishes in the shade Tawny. My goal was to use this five times. I wore it one time for the previous update, and I have worn it the final four times. It is what is on my nails today. I did paint them right before I started filming. Probably not the smartest thing, but you know, I wanted to get that final use in so that I could roll this one out of the project. So I really like this. I love the formula. I don't see a new line it still looks like it is full to the very very top even though I've used this one five times I've used up uh, about a gram and a half of product so I've gotten my uses out of it just this one is never ending I can kind of see a bubble but again it's all the way up here even though I've used it five times so love this I love the formula this was perfect uh, fall color um, so I've enjoyed wearing it not only on my fingers but also on my toes it's a beautiful color and I do recommend their formula next one is a product from ColourPop so for that I'm working on my ColourPop ultra glossy lip in the shade Granita I do have this topped over this pencil right here so I am wearing it right now for the last update I had used it four times and there was a bubble about down to here I have used it 20 more and I'm hoping you guys can see the product all the way down here so Let's see, it's right about there. So this one is towards the bottom of the tube. It is almost empty. This is a very small tube of lip gloss. It is only three mils. There is not a lot of product in here. These go so fast. Um, so I am at 24 uses and I'm close to finishing this one. Next is a product you wouldn't repurchase. <laughs> and this is the Milk Makeup Glow Oil Lip and Cheek in the shade Flare. 
My goal was to use this one 15 times and I have used it 15 times. I have worn this as a uh, cream blush. I've also worn it as a lip gloss and I cannot stand it on my lips. I don't like the color. I don't like the formula. So I am using this one as a cream blush only. This is the color. It's coming off as more pale pink in the camera, but it is kind of more of a uh, hot pink kind of in real life. And I don't like it. I don't like the color. Um, this is something that the packaging is broken. I'm going to have to scrape it all out um, and put it in another container and then just use it as a cream blush because that's the only way I can use it up. So I got my 15 uses. So this one will be rolling out of the project. I'm happy about that. And then the final product is an eyeshadow from a palette you don't reach for often. So I rolled in my Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette. I decided to work on the shade Butterscotch. And over the past month, I have used it three times. So this is what Butterscotch is looking like right now. I normally put up photos, but this looks brand new. It does not even look like I've used it, so there's really no comparison. My goal is to try to hit pan. I have two months to do that, and this is a beautiful shade. Um, whenever I do neutral looks, I try to dip into this one as the first transition color, and it is gorgeous. So I'm really happy that I have decided to reach for this palette and work on the shade Butterscotch. I'm hoping that in two months I can hit pan in it, but I'm not quite sure. But in the meantime, I'm just going to enjoy wearing it because it is a gorgeous shade. So since I have hit my goal on two items, I hit my usage goal on this and on the nail polish, it is time to roll in two new prompts. I have taken out of the list everything that I have already worked on, and I only have 13 prompts left from the original list of 50. I like to do that so that I'm not constantly rolling numbers I've already gotten. So I have my pretty random app and let's see what I get. First one is number six, something in your favorite shade. And the next one is number seven, uh, something overrated. So let me go choose those two items and I will be right back. All right, I'm back with my two products. The first one I got is something in your favorite shade. My favorite shade, I actually pulled a nail polish so I could show you guys. I like cherry red color like this. Not quite just a plain red, not a burgundy, but just this gorgeous cherry red. I would have put this in here, but this is already in my Throwback 30 project pan because I'm, I'm working on a goal for this one, but this is kind of my favorite color. So I went to my liquid lipsticks because I am not panning any of them and you guys know I have so many of them. So I chose this one from Bare Minerals. I don't know what formula it is. It doesn't say anything besides Bare Minerals and on the bottom the shade is called Naughty. So um, I'm going to use this one and I am going to put a usage goal in here of 10 times because I'm working on so many lip products. So this kind of color right here, I thought that was really pretty. So 10 times for that one. And then the other one is something overrated. If you guys saw my most recent 50 shades of purple project pan, I talked about um, in there, the Becca highlighters where I just don't understand the hype in them. Mine always shatter. Um, and I, I have repressed that one, but it, they're just kind of a bit of a mess for me. Um, and I know people were so upset that they were getting retired and people were going out and buying backups to all their favorite colors. And I kind of don't understand the hype. So that's why I'm choosing this one as an overrated product. Um, and so I decided to roll in a Becca highlighter in the shade Rose Gold, not because of this color, but just the, it's just the Becca highlighters in general. And again, I am working on so many highlighters. I have two that I'm actually trying to completely finish. So I'm putting a usage goal on this one. This is rose gold right here. And I'm going to put a 10 uses only on this one as well, just so that I can keep working on everything that I'm trying to get done. So those are my two roll-ins. What do I think I can have done for the next update? I definitely think that this lotion will be an empty for the next update. This lip gloss will definitely be gone. I might, if I can focus in, I might be able to have this one done. But then again, I keep putting lip products in other projects. So I might be able to have this one done. If not, it'll be pretty darn close to being done. And I might be able to hit both of these goals and then move these on out. Um, 
Hope you guys are okay with usage goals, but that's just kind of what's working for me right now with everything else that I'm trying to currently pan. So that is everything that I have for you guys. I hope that you will go check out the list of everybody else who is doing this project. It is a really fun one. It is open to anybody. If you want to join, feel free to join along. Even though there's only two months left, it's, you know, nobody's going to mind. Just go ahead and join us. Um, anyway, that is everything that I have for you. If you haven't already, I hope that you will please subscribe to my channel before you go. While you're down there, ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you.